No, you go ahead. All right. Uh, <clears throat> well, it's necessary. Uh, I expected this to happen pretty much when they went 0-13, 0-14, 0-15, and obviously 0-16. You can't keep a guy like that. Uh, so it was very expected. I would say the more surprising thing was the uh, uh, keeping the GM and not looking for other kids. Possibly uh, that, I think, is a mistake. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Bill Parcells yeah. uh, could be could be available to the Lions if they so desire, but uh, we'll see about that. Meanwhile, what kind of response are you guys getting, and, and what are your own emotions like since yesterday's loss, the 16th out of 16 tries this season? Uh, it, it was expected, and we prepared ourselves for it. <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't blindside you. Is that what you're saying? Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. Actually, that's good. Like, Always Lions, be prepared. Yeah, well, knowing the Lions, they probably would have won yesterday just to kind of put a Put a uh, you know mix it up a little bit. Now how They're good bad. how good has this been for business or how bad is this? Outstanding. It, it's been good. We uh, I mean this it's under weird circumstances. You know it's not like you really set this up to really. Obviously now at this point it's it's good that we're doing this for us, but it's kind of under circumstances I really aren't, I'm not too happy about. I'd like to see a better team than to make money selling shirts about our terrible team. You know yeah. it, it's it, it's kind of a catch 22 a little bit. We, we don't want to send the wrong impression. Yeah. We do want the Lions to win the Super Bowl. We're, we're fans of that. Okay. That'd be fantastic. But we're so far away. I mean, we are so far from that uh, that, uh, hey, we thought, well, let's take this opportunity and uh, make some light of it. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of people that have a shirt and, and what we're all about. And, you know, really quick, I just want to mention, though, our website is since57.com. Right. Since the website you've mentioned before is a different site. Yeah. Okay. It has nothing to do with us. So. I apologize uh, for that. Oh, since no, that's fine. 57 we're just that. Okay. And, yeah. and you're since actually, 57. Ed, you're actually wearing... One of the T-shirts there, right? Uh, the 2008 right. preseason champion T-shirt. Yeah, this is the that we did uh, back in September, and as of yesterday, we have a new one out, which is on our website as well. And okay, tell us about that one. Go ahead, Doug. Oh, sure. I'm sorry. Basically, the shirt concept is extremely simple. It says zero and sixteen, <laughs> but it's in Roman numerals. Uh, uh, I like that. I, I like could, that. You, well, I don't know if you know this or not, but obviously, Super Bowl 16 was in Detroit. Well, it was in Pine. Right. And so it's a little playoff of Super Bowl 16. If you kind of look at the logo, you'll you'll see a resemblance. And then we just kind of play off of the, the terribleness that is our Lions. And then on the back is the schedule of the 2008 season, and uh, it's available on our website. So basically, you can kind of get both. And then on top of that, we also have a poster available yes. that will be available later this week with some logistics on that. But it's it's kind of a you know it's a it's very similar to the shirt, but it's it's kind of something you can hang on your wall and keep forever. It'll it'll hopefully it'll turn into an heirloom. You know, it's when they win the Super Bowl 30 years from now, <laughs> right. you can you can put them next you know closer uh, next to each other and. Uh, you know, it'd be uh, kind of ironic. Well, it was said that you guys are longtime fans and you want your team to win, but yes. what's been the response to these shirts and, and what do you say to any fans who think you are maybe betraying or mocking the Lions? Uh, I don't think we are, and uh, uh, we really try to ignore any comments that we are betraying the Lions. I mean, let's face it, uh, the people that uh, do kind of get angry with us are the people that are wearing, you know, the $100 jerseys and the, the hats, and they're all decked out and I look at them and say well don't spend that money with them spend it with us mm -hmm. and you know we'll give you a shirt and it's cheap well how and, much and is there's it? a little humor how much is involved it? Fifteen dollars. Okay. Well, you know, much better the, the deal, big, especially in the these times, size, right? Yeah, the bigger sizes are a little more. You know, and, and just to piggyback off that a little bit, I mean, you, this team has been bad for a long time. Right. It's not like this is the first year it's happened. I mean, we started this four years ago right. with a, a, a simple T-shirt idea of rebuilding since '57, and it's four years later, and we're not talking to you right now. It, this is better. I feel like this is pos a possible step of them doing something to get better, you know. And we're, in essence, I guess, yeah, we are capitalizing on it. But then again, we're also not buying tickets and we're not season ticket holders. You know, I'd much rather go support the Red Wings, you know, a team that I actually find is, is, is a good representation of our city and, and of the and good the sports town we live in. So, and the Pistons. It, well, of course, of yeah. course. Um, so. But, but, you know, it, it, this all hurts. This is hurtful to everybody, especially this time of the year. But this is a little humor, so it makes it a little lighter. All right, so besides the humor and besides, obviously, the business that you guys are generating with these shirts, what else can you take away from an 0-16? What, what other positives can you take away? 
Yeah. Wow. Positive. Oh, well, well, you know, <laughs> I would have said I would have said the fact that they can blow it up and then you know start anew, but then they go and hire Mayhew, which is part of the organization for the past. Yeah, but is he to blame? Years. I mean, he's taking over middle of the season. I you mean, know, uh, he, he wasn't going to be able to stop the losing trend just no. coming in. A good the, point I heard on the radio today was that if a guy is underneath, like for example, he was under Millen for this time. If if he was so opposed to the Millen's doings, do you think he'd still have a job eight years later if he continually argued with the boss? I, I feel like he's probably has a very similar mindset, and you're not. We went 0 16. That's the worst you can possibly. And so you're gonna you're gonna keep a guy that was part of that system, opposed to bringing some completely different. You can't do any worse than that. So I guess that's my take on it. I'm not saying he's a bad guy, he does a bad job. It's just you just can't you just can't keep a guy like that. We we really don't blame the players or the coaches uh, and some of management. You know, but it, 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 the owner. Yeah, it yeah. really does. And that's been our kind of our mantra all through these four years is the owner. It's yeah. We weren't on the Fire Millen bandwagon. We yeah. were really on the Ford is the issue. And of course Ford. now he is, everyone sees that now. Yeah. Um, so. Well, a uh, change has been made as far as the head coach is concerned. Yeah. I don't think yeah. you can see a change in ownership in soon, but no, Rod right. Marinelli is out as the head coach. And so yet another rebuilding, reconstruction of this franchise yes. will begin. So Doug <laughs> yes. and Ed Zuba, thanks so much for joining us here on ESPN First Take. Anytime. And good luck Anytime. with the sales of your shirt on 50, since57.com, correct? Correct. correct? Thank correct. you very much. Correct. I appreciate since it. Since57.com. All right, guys. Yeah. Thanks Thank so much. You. And good luck next, next year. Yeah, we'll thanks. be there. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Coming up here on First Take. Eric Mangini is out in New York. Now, what's it like being let go as a head coach in the NFL? What's the first thing you do? Jim Fossil fills us in. It starts with this idea. 